Hey guys, welcome to Baby's two month update. Um, if you guys are new to my channel, welcome. I do baby and mommy videos for the first time mom, including uh, TTC, pregnancy, and baby development. So welcome to two months. I'm gonna be talking about the development of baby at two months, along with activities you can do with your baby, and um, kind of how Emma's doing in her two months and what her favorites are. So welcome. If you're new, like this video if you like these types of updates, and let's get started. So, baby in two months. Um, it's quite a huge milestone this month. There's a lot of new developments. Um, so one thing that I noticed right off the bat was her control over her own body has dramatically um, gotten better so she can move her arms a lot smoother they were very jerky in the first month and um, she can hold herself up a little bit better uh, neck control so obviously she's not sitting up by herself by any means but she's a lot better at controlling her head and neck and um, moving her hands towards her mouth so her sucking reflex is still there and it allows her to um, soothe herself when she's a little fussy. So um, her coordination in terms of like playing with toys is not there yet, but she does appreciate watching the toys hang in front of her. So um, we just introduced the play mat, which I will show here, and she loves staring at the toys hanging from her because it's very close uh, within the 18 inch uh, range that she can see at this age and um, she may accidentally bat at one of them not intentionally but she does like watching them move as well um, so babies like I mentioned they can see up to 18 inches their vision they can see at two months um, and recognize your face and your partner's face and she started to smile when she does see our faces which is just so awesome um, it's a lot of fun to kind of you know peek around the crib and she sees us and she starts smiling so that's um that's been really cool to watch her learn mommy and daddy's faces which is really cool so I think that's my favorite milestone is seeing her smile so often now some babies just start smiling at two months um, she was an early smiler I think she started smiling at like four or five weeks so um, two months if you guys don't know um, covers weeks five to eight so um, yeah she definitely started smiling and even potentially giggling in her sleep towards eight weeks um, she has definitely been cooing uh, since probably week five or six, so the beginning of two months. Um, she definitely grunts when she's um, going number two in her body. She makes a lot of noise grunting and she, her face will go red and um, it's pretty funny. Um, what else? So she definitely um, coos a lot. Um, she started doing that probably more so around six, seven weeks. And she's been kind of like talking to herself by cooing and will make um, noises and talk to her back and get really excited when she does coo. So it encourages her to coo some more. So that's been really cute. Um, in terms of other senses, um, touch is super import important in the beginning. Um, so touching, massaging, um, getting her used to different textures and all of that. So um, making sure you're holding, kissing, hugging, um, doing all the stuff we naturally do as parents because we love our babies. So that is super important for their development. And I've been making sure to continue with the massages every time we bathe her and all of that. So in terms of weight and height at two months, now she has not been weighed since her six week appointment and she was nine pounds four ounces at six weeks. So I'm assuming she's closer to 10 pounds now and she is 23 and a, and a half, no, 23 inches long. I did um, measure her with my measuring tape from her head to her heel and she's 23 inches. Just my scale sucks big time and it said that she was seven pounds which is completely wrong so in terms of weight I don't have an accurate way to measure her that, that way 
Uh, in terms of activities for two months, um, I recommend singing. Um, she loves when I sing to her, especially, oh, excuse you, especially when I use um, finger <laughs> motions. So I like singing. Sorry, I'm going to put her down because I'm getting really hot. Sorry about that. I just had to put her down. It was getting really hot. So in terms of singing, I will sing um, Itsy Bitsy Spider went up the water spout and then down came the rain and do like all of the hand motions and she loves watching that. She'll just like stare at my hands move around and I'll also sing I'm a little teapot short and stout and then I'll do the hand and then and sometimes I'll do her hands or my hands and she loves watching that. Um, so as long as that's within like the 18 inches then she can see it and she loves watching. Um, we also sing two songs in different languages. I sing uh, Five Little Monkeys in Portuguese, so Cinco Macaquinhos. Um, so I sing that one, and my husband speaks Russian, so um, he sings a song, a bedtime song that he used to listen to um, back in Ukraine, so he will sing that to her. So she's getting three different languages kind of thrown at her. My grandma, um, my grandma my grandma and her grandparents speak to her in Portuguese and her other grandparents speak to her in Russian uh, whenever they can so um, she's getting lots lots of language thrown at her um, and she doesn't understand any of it obviously right now so in terms of feeding diapering and sleeping um, during the day it is pretty intense in terms of feeding like she's consistently eating like every hour and a half ish to two hours and her naps are pretty short they're about half an hour to an hour max during the day and around seven o'clock that's when she'll start sleeping bigger chunks um, so she'll sleep from like seven to like nine ten ish and then she'll be up um, and then go to bed at like 11 and then she won't be up till four o'clock so um, that's when I get the biggest stretch of sleep is between 10:30, 11 o'clock till about 4 to 5 o'clock. The longest stretch I've gotten so far in month two has been from like 10:30 to like 5:30, and I was like, oh my gosh, that never happens. Um, I don't know what, why that happened or what I could do to inspire that to happen again. It was just a complete fluke because the next night actually she woke up every two hours. So um, there's obviously no schedule with the two month yet, um, but there are some patterns starting to emerge. So I think that's the only one that's been consistent is the 11 to four o'clock roughly um, stretch. Um, in terms of diapers, she pretty much goes to the bathroom every time she eats um, so in terms of a routine I follow the easy routine and I can do a video separate on on it it was recommended to me by a friend um, from a book that she read and basically it's an acronym eating activity sleep and your time so easy I'll I'll feed her for eating a is activity, so something like a bath or a diaper change and a couple of songs or and this activity period could be anywhere from five minutes to 45 minutes depending on the baby and as soon as you see kind of um, the yawning or the rubbing of the eyes then you would take 15 minutes to um, put her to sleep so you wouldn't spend more than that you would try to um, have her fall asleep on her own but take 15 minutes to get her ready to go to sleep and then um, your time which is the why and easy would be when is she, when she's sleeping and then you would do it all over again so we follow the easy routine all day and that's kind of um, so my time your time only lasts like half an hour the shortest time or like 20 minutes the shortest time up into like one or two hours so um, she is now feeding actually from both breasts before I was doing just the one breast uh, for the entire feeding but um, I st started to introduce both breasts for her evening so maybe that's why she's sleeping a little longer is because she's eating a little bit more than during the day during the day it's generally just one breast and then she'll be content and then in the evening I offer her both um, I don't want to say I force it but I offer offer it to her and if she goes for it great if not then I you know do it 
quick diaper change and put her back to sleep. In the evenings, we do not do the easy routine. It's pretty much she wakes up, I feed her, I check her diaper quickly. Um, if I don't have to change it, um, I won't because um, you want to keep them sleeping throughout the whole night. So um, dream feeding is kind of what it's called when you feed them when they're kind of still sleeping, but they woke up because they're hungry, but they're still sleeping because they're tired. So um, I generally dream feed overnight. Um, and if I can get away with not changing the diaper, like it doesn't need to be done, then I won't um, like open her all up and whatnot. Um, I'll do like the sniff test and then just put her back to sleep. So that's been working really well. Um, I think she may be in size 2 diapers in the next couple weeks um, because the uh, size 1 seems to be a little tighter like I'm starting to get marks on her skin um, from the size 1 so we'll see about that. I did order size 2 for my next Honest Company diaper um, shipment uh, which will be coming in a week or two. Um, so I have enough diapers for um, about two weeks, I would say. So um, that would work out great. Oh, uh, she does love her pacifier. We call it a bika in my house. Um, that's the Portuguese nickname for a pacifier. So she loves her bika. She um, will suck on it for a couple of minutes before bed and then she'll pass out and she won't use it throughout the night. Um, when she wakes up in the middle of the night to dream feed, she does not use a pacifier, so she just goes right to sleep. Um, in terms of clothing, uh, she is in zero to three months uh, clothing. Um, for H&M, it's two to four months the size. Um, the sleepers are starting to get small though because she's pretty long. So um, I have one Carter sleeper that's actually too short. So it's giving her um, marks on like the zipper part um, and like I can feel a little bit more tension in her shoulders because it's not long enough. So my baby's growing up so fast, I can't believe it. Um, she has a couple of cute outfits like the one she's wearing on now and then like a mouse kitty kind of combo. I'll show you guys a picture of it here. She does not have a lot of cute outfits because babies grow up so fast. I didn't want to spend money on more expensive outfits so her everyday outfits is a long sleeve onesie and pants and she only has a couple pair of pants that she rotates throughout the onesies. Um, so she has uh, about six to eight long sleeve onesies and like three pairs of pants that she goes through. Um, I have a couple of other pants that are more like special, like have a design that don't kind of match all of the onesies. So um, those are like for the special outfits. And um, yeah, she's got one jacket sort of, like it's not like a full, I'm just saying, oh, I have it right here. Um, she has this jacket, which she is from, it's three months and it's from Koala Kids. I got it from Toys R Us, I believe. And she's just fitting into it now. So she wears that when she's in the bassinet or the car seat. Um, but she only has the one. She doesn't have multiple like sweaters like that. She's got one other hoodie that's part of a cute outfit, um, which I'll show the picture here for. Cause I just love her in those cute little outfits. But I don't have many because like I said, it's a waste of money, I think. Um, when I only go out a couple of times, so a week, and if she's in the same outfit, again, like I'm not picky about that, because I'll probably be in the same outfit. Like I don't have a huge wardrobe. Um, so yeah, there we go. Um, in terms of health, um, month two, specifically around five weeks, six weeks, we were battling some serious cradle crap, crap. <laughs> cap issues, sorry. Um, she got really bad cradle cap. We used the healing balm um, by Honest Company and some, oh, sorry, gotta put the beak up back in her mouth. Um, the healing balm, shampooing her head every day, um, using a comb to remove the, the loose flakes. And yeah, that's kind of just what we've been doing every um, other day or every other day and it's pretty much gone now um, at eight weeks there's still some spots that are a little more dandruffy than others but she has so much hair that you can't really see 
her scalp. So, um, yeah, still working on that. Um, her two month checkup is coming up. We weren't able to get in with the doctor this week. Um, and my doctor is going on vacation next week. So at the beginning of February, she will get her two month checkup and she is two months today, uh, when I do this video. So, um, it's going to be a little bit delayed. It's about two weeks delayed, um, her checkup and her shots. So she will be getting immunized, um, at the same time. And I think that's all I wanted to talk about health wise. Um, she did, I noticed in the two month, uh, mark, she has been spitting up more than she has ever done. Um, in one month, she didn't really spit up at all. So that's starting to become a thing. Um, maybe because she's eating too fast or as she gets bigger, I don't know why. Um, but I am burping her and make sure it all comes out before laying her down so she doesn't have to deal with it in bed um, and laying down. Last but not least, her favorites. So like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, we introduced the activity mat this month. Um, I think it was about last week, so week seven is when we started doing that. And she loves it. I will include some footage here for you guys to watch. Um, so she loves watching them. Um, she also loves listening to mommy and daddy sing to her and doing like the, um, the motions with her hands and the actions, I should say. Um, so she's loving that. I think those are her favorite things right now. She did, um, I don't know if I mentioned this, but she has kind of giggled in her sleep and she did giggle for daddy when mommy was in the bath. So I didn't get to experience her first giggle. I don't know if it was a real giggle. I wasn't there to see it, but he's insisting that she was giggling. So like a little giggle. Um, when daddy was singing to her and making funny faces so that was really really cute and i'm excited to see what month three will bring and uh, if you guys have any questions about month two or any advice about month two or anything about month two put it down below um, subscribe if you haven't already like and share the video if you found it helpful and i'll catch you guys next time much love bye